Hi, Nick Ritter here with the Cavalry Tutorial Series. In this series, we will be making this animated review, an app that shows everyone what is possible in a 2D animation application made for motion designers. Learning how to work with sound and cavalry, rich text, the layer system, procedural animation, and more. Don't forget to click subscribe and the bell icon so you don't miss any of the videos in this series. In the following videos, I'll teach you everything you need to know from installing Cavalry, working with text, building out layouts and shapes, animating using the amazing graph editor, and of course using the procedural tools built right into Cavalry. And I'd like to thank Lester Banks for letting me use his quote from the Cavalry website. Thanks, dude. In this series, we'll be recreating this animation I did for a Lumi private parts ad. By the time we're done, we'll be able to change the text to whatever we would like it to be. So in this case, we'll change it to an amazing tutorial series. The size of the text box changes, as well as the placement of the name, all dynamically. To download and install Cavalry, go to cavalry.scenegroup.co. You can click on Join or scroll down, and there's two different install options. There's the free option and the paid option. You're given the full feature set in both versions, but in the free version, they restrict what you can export, and there's a watermark. Additionally, paying for the pro version gives you access to the beta with the latest features. So I'll start here by clicking the free button, and you're brought to this page, where you're prompted to create an account, complete with username and password, click to agree to the terms and conditions, and you can opt into news and offers if you'd like, and then get Cavalry. The download should start automatically, and then you just follow the install procedures as you would with any other app. And if you're using the Pro account, you come down to this Download Installers section, click on the Beta tab here, and then you can download it for either Windows or Mac. Okay, let's get into it. The next video will be about how to use sound in Cavalry. Click on the annotation to take you to the next video in the series, and I'll see you there. Thank you.